The Bicep Project is a commission between the Manchester and Sassel Festival and Salford City Council and the aim of the project is to develop food systems in the local community. There's local produce being made for local people. This is a real issue and this is a thing that you can take with you for, for years after this. This is the future isn't it, whether we like it or not, this is one of the ways that we're going to help alleviate suffering in the world I guess, you know, and start producing food in really difficult places. You know, the population's not getting any smaller. We're not making any more land. We're going to have to come up with another plan, and this is one of them. At the moment, there's a 12-man team developing uh, everything from the research, uh, the biosphere urban activities, and also our food distribution team. The building was a disused warehouse, and what we've done on the first and second floor is we've taken all the partitions out, and we've opened it up, so it's an open plan space where we can develop the food systems. We're quite short on growing space, so we've uh, I went to an aquaponics course just to look at you know, alternatives of using the space that you've got to grow things. So these uh, things we've learned today are really useful because you can put them anywhere really, take up any little bit of space you've got. So aquaponics is a way of growing food yeah, without soil uh, and also connecting fish yeah, with leaf crops. So the idea is the fish waste is then pumped up to the roof uh, where it's going to be in a polytunnel where we'll grow about 5,000 leaf crops. Well, people are to do sort of cooking sessions, are to do um, sessions around sort of keeping bees and keeping chickens, uh, looking at the aquaponic systems. We got a chance, an opportunity to do a little class together. It was like a master class in uh, preserving. So we made a, a, a jam, but it was a low sugar jam. So it was really good because it's really fast and really easy to do. So it was great with the kids because they got a chance to really take part and uh, cut all the fruit and prep it and most importantly, taste it. And we're developing a number of tours, workshops and courses for local people to learn about the systems that we're developing at the Biosphere Project. We're trying to tap into how the children and their families feel about the environment and about the biosphere. So the project work that we've been doing is uh, reflecting that and drawing out of the children their feelings about the world they live in. It's been great for the children to have a completely different experience to the sort of experience that they normally get in school. Uh, the project itself is quite interesting in terms of, you know, the urban growing. Um, if you see a worm, you have to take care of, like, take it to the grass. Um, worms, they make soil and soil. We need soil to make some plant things and then so we can eat. Well, if we don't have worms, we won't be able to eat anything. I've learnt about how, how the trees connect with the mushrooms. The whole box will always have a little space in my heart because I just think it's a fantastic facility for our residents because, you know, you, you can ask people to eat healthily or access certain types of food, but if they're not, if they're not on their doorstep or they've got no local amenities for that, they, they can't do it. Do it. So yeah. it's such a great, great benefit, really to develop systems that are a lot more productive, a lot more adaptive and a lot more resilient. That is the core aim of the Biosphere Project. The, the forest, forest garden, garden is I mean, we can remember that when it was just yeah. a, a huge mass of trees and overgrown. The, the police came to see Vincent and came up with some unbelievable, and an outcome that we hadn't even anticipated, yeah. is that the crime, because that, that there was a lot of drugs and a lot of um, soliciting and prostitution and other sort of ASB associated yeah. with that site, and it's now nil it's not it's just and that was like wow you know we weren't expecting that i think it's an amazing project um and i looked across the international festival and it's nice that there's all the arts and culture but i think it's great to engage local community uh, in food it's just a great use of a building